Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. We have 11 listings. So back to this theory I have that, here's the thing, in an up market, people will move for two reasons. Number one is they're gonna move because of legitimate need, because they need more space, because their job transfer, because of uh, you know separation, all the four Ds we talk about in real estate. Uh, or they move because there's an opportunity to make money. And I don't want to use the word greed, but it's kind of like that, that some people kind of cash out. And, and so now that the market's shifted off of peak, it's still a very healthy market. We're still up from last year, on and on and on. But what we're seeing now is that people are listing their home because they have a genuine need, is that maybe there's a little bit of the opportunity factor, but not as much as it was. Uh, and if you're buying another home, it's all relative anyway. So if both homes are up or both homes are down, it's going to be in the same ratio. But, uh, but the point I'm trying to make is I think that it's just the people that need to sell. And so we're seeing less of a percentage. We're also seeing, like I said before, earlier this week, buyers don't feel like the water is boiling hot anymore. They feel like it's warm. So they're coming in too. So that supply demand on both ends is changing. And that's why I think we're headed to a little bit more balance happening. Obviously, we have to get rid of all the inventory and supply that has come out in the last two months, but it's slowly starting to adjust. So 11 properties today. Uh, I'm going to talk about three of them and then we're going to bounce out of here. And I hope you have a great uh, Canada Day and a great long weekend. So Colson is the first one up. I've always liked the street. Uh, I, I think it's a cute little street. This one happens to back onto green space. The running joke based on the episode a few days ago is that it backs onto Dorset Park, which is ridiculous because there's no such thing as a park that's named Dorset. There's a neighborhood called Dorset Park. Anyway, uh, one car uh, garage, but you have two car parking in the driveway which to me is the next best thing. Having lots of parking, very good thing. Uh, the layout's a little bit choppy, but they've done a good job in updating. Uh, some of the bedrooms upstairs need carpet. Now, some people go, oh, red carpet, I'm not gonna buy it. Guess what? Carpet's probably $3 a square foot. It's not that expensive to fix. It's amazing to me that people will look at a purchase price of five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000 and then go, oh, I don't like the paint. The paint is like, you know, half a percent of the value of the home. The carpet is like a quarter percent of the value of the home. It's it's fascinating to me. And there's even mortgage products. There's a mortgage product called Purchase Plus Improvements. And what it is, is if you were to buy this home for the full price, $699, and you said, look, I got to put $20,000 into this home. Then what they do is they loan you based on a 720 purchase price and then you submit your receipts and you get credited back so you essentially have bought the home finished the way you want it for a little bit higher price so it's a difference of of out of pocket money of twenty thousand dollars versus rolling that into a mortgage it's a very handy mortgage product to have especially for an investor who's concerned with out-of-pocket money versus cash flow for a short period of time but anyway uh let's go back to this one here decent finishes good backyard backs onto green space and i love this covered porch here i think it looks fantastic uh, there are many times that I would love to go out and barbecue and I end up using a little grill in my kitchen because it's raining or it's snowing or whatever it is. Hop out here, do your stuff, hang out. It doesn't matter what's going on with the weather provided it's in a comfortable temperature range. Uh, great looking backyard too. So fantastic stuff. I love what it backs onto. I love the privacy. And I, you know, the home, yeah, it's okay. To me, the home's, you know, decent, but the backyard can't change the location and you generally can't change the size of the box. You can put additions on, but more often than not, it makes sense just to find the right size box instead of trying to build out. Now this one on Minchin made me do a double take. There's friggin' snow on the ground. 
it's unreal. Why would somebody think this is a good idea? Well, I could save $200 from pictures. Here's the thing, the inside looks fine. There's no problem with the inside. I mean, aside from, you know, pillow choices, but anyway, mine is not to judge too much. Uh, you could pretty much leave all of these inside shots. There's still things you could improve in here. I'm sure if you've watched Daily Homes long enough, you know that. But take a shot of the front, take a shot of the backyard. You wouldn't even have to hire a photographer for the full thing. You just say, hey, when you're in the area, go shoot me some fair weather shots. Fascinating. All right, last one up. Whew, getting a little red in the face here. Uh, last one, 7050 Bell School Line, no pictures, three days on the market. We're not going to say anything about that. And what we will say, though, this was a fascinating home because it was on the market for, it's just south of uh, Spring Ridge Farm. It was on the market for probably three to four years, long time, like over a thousand days listed. They started up around this price range. It's listed now for 2.45, 2.35, 2.2. They went down to 1.9. And what happened was 2017 happened pretty much. So they, they were on the market so long and nothing. 1.95. They had four offers on the place and they sold it for 400,000 over asking. So these guys bought this home this year for 2.35 million, 400,000 over asking after it sat for a thousand days and didn't sell with four offers. That is the, and I said this before in Daily Homes, that is the perfect synopsis of 2017. Maybe they moved in and, uh, and didn't like it. I don't know. I think it's kind of funny right here is they put uh, drive parking spaces 50 so including the triple car garage you have 53 spaces so remember you can't invite more than 53 couples to your next event anyway i don't know what happened here uh it's a beautiful property but i guess they're selling by the time they pay fees and land transfer tax and real estate and all that stuff they're probably losing money on this one and now that the market's a little bit different than it was in the beginning of 2017, it'd be interesting to see how long it's going to take these guys. But the previous listing took a lot of patience, a lot of patience to sell it. All right, that's the list. I'm pumped. I'm really pumped. I'm hoping to have a lovely weekend. And uh, if you are out and about, I think we're doing an open house at 606 Sunnyvale, which we, uh, we talked about in yesterday's episode. I'll put the link down below too. So uh, have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on uh, Tuesday with another episode.